If you ever wish that you could bottle up ocean water to create those really sexy beachy waves, today's DIY has a really easy recipe and is a great substitute. So here's what you need to get started. Sea salt, conditioner, hair gel, coconut oil, vegetable oil, a spray bottle, and hot water. The key to this recipe is your sea salt. So take around two tablespoons and start to grind it up. Sea salt is going to volumize your hair and give it a really nice texture, but if you're worried that it might fade your hair color or dry out your hair, you can leave it out because we're gonna add gel later, which will help enhance your texture as well. Now combine all of your wet ingredients. So this includes your conditioner, your hair gel, your coconut oil, and your vegetable oil. I like to use a conditioner that smells tropical, so something like coconut or pina colada. This is just going to add a nice silky texture to your hair. Your hair gel helps to create a more PC texture and a little bit of stiffness like you would get from the ocean. And this one's cool because it has a little bit of a shimmer to it too. Next, add two teaspoons of coconut oil. This is gonna help smooth out your hair, eliminate any frizz, and it's gonna add to that tropical smell that we want. And the last wet ingredient is your vegetable oil. You wanna use about a quarter teaspoon of this, and the only reason you're using it is to help preserve this recipe so that it'll last you a while. Mix up all of your wet ingredients to create a really nice creamy consistency, and if you need to, you can heat up your coconut oil to make it a little bit easier. So it's time to mix everything. You wanna take your eight ounces of hot water and mix it with all of your other wet ingredients. So we have mixed all of our ingredients and you might notice the conditioner is actually sitting on top, but don't worry about that. Once you put it into your spray bottle and shake it up, it's gonna be just fine. So I don't have a funnel, but that's really the only way to get into the spray bottle. So you can make your own DIY funnel with some parchment paper or wax paper, whichever you have and take your salt and funnel that in as well. And finally, for those optional ingredients, to enhance the tropical scent of this spray, I'm adding in a few drops of essential vanilla oil and some peach oil as well. And then, if you want to enhance your hair color and make it more vibrant, you can use one of two things. If you're brunette, go with rosemary extract. And if you are blonde or have red hair, use chamomile extract. These will actually make your hair color look a lot more bright, a lot more vibrant, and they will also moisturize your hair too. You don't have to worry about them fading your color. Now apply your cap and shake away. And voila. This is very similar to John Frieda's Beach Wave Spray. You know that amazing discontinued Beach Wave that we all love? Just make sure that you put it in the refrigerator afterwards to help preserve it and to have a nice cooling effect too. And that, my friends, is your DIY Beach Wave Spray using ingredients that you probably already have in your kitchen or in your bathroom. I'm Kirby and we'll see you next time on Pop Sugar Beauty.